Friday, so happy Friday. I just got ready to go to the office. Um, oh shoot, I got some pink blush on my little thing, but you can barely see it. Yeah, I am not changing this outfit. You can barely see it, and it's in the inner sleeve, so it's okay. You'll see it right there, it's like a tiny little dot. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I saw this thing on TikTok, or maybe it was YouTube Shorts, where a girl added like pink blush to a concealer and then she just made her own like um, blush and I just did that and it's actually a look I don't know if you can tell or if the camera's picking it up you can see it's so much better in this lighting it's like a subtle pink blush DIY we love a good DIY at first I applied way too much but now I know for future reference that I need like the smallest little dot of it on my face because um, at the beginning I had to like go back in <laughs> with foundation to mute it down because it was too much <laughs> at like 6 p.m. and got another cup of coffee so I've had like two big cups of coffee today um, and not enough water I have been drinking water but definitely not as much as I should have given I had two huge cups of coffee so I need to hydrate and I kind of want to go to the gym but I don't know this will be my first time at the gym this week I haven't gone in exactly a week because my hair was straight for my birthday so I was like listen if I'm gonna spend a whole what hour getting my hair dried with rollers on and then another hour with her blowing it out and straightening it I need to like not sweat for a whole week so that my hair can stay straight at the root and it's done pretty good it's like still pretty straight like I wrap it every night and when I comb it out in the morning it looks like a fresh silk press 
but I don't know. I, I really miss the gym. And this is exactly why I don't strain my hair often. Like, even doing it once a year is more than enough for me because it just hinders me from doing so many things. Not even so many things, but it hinders me from going to the gym, which is kind of like a big part of my life and a big part of my mental health and my physical health. So yeah, straight hair and me on shake hands. <laughs> like, it's not my thing. I don't know how other naturally curly haired girls do it. Like, do y'all work out with a silk press? I know not everybody like sweats a lot, but I am a big sweater. Like I sweat by just existing. I went to H&M after work. Um, and got the cutest bag. I saw this on their website first. It is so gorgeous. I love the size. I love the pattern. It has these leather handles and it does bring a cross body strap. We love the options. It is so cute. I love everything about it. This bag reminds me a lot of this bag, which I also got from H&M, and it's just the cutest pattern as well. I like that this one has a super thick crossbody strap. I love the color, I love the pattern. This bag may seem small, but she's mighty and fits so much stuff. Like when I wear this bag, I can fit all of my necessities with no issue, even my big camera. I got this, I wanna say like two years ago and I wear it nonstop. It's like one of my favorite bags ever. to take chase to his grooming appointment his hair is not super long but um i combed him out last night to like you know take out some of the knots to make the experience of the groomer a little easier when she's like bathing him and stuff and um, cutting his hair and whenever i comb him out he gets like super fluffy he looks like a little teddy bear <laughs> i'm wearing this athletic zipped up jacket i guess <laughs> and these corduroy parachute pants from h&m this cropped jacket also from H&M and I'm already wearing my baggie because it's so cute <laughs> I love this bag and I feel like it goes perfectly with this outfit with the black and the ivory <laughs> some errands went to home goods ulta and i'm in desperate need of groceries so i think we're gonna go to either trader joe's or aldi i'm not sure yet we still have like another hour until chase is done with his appointment they usually take like three hours with him so i think we should just go grocery shopping and then be done for the day you know pick him up and go home also can i just say i am so glad we're back to normal winter temperatures like it's finally back in the 40s the last few days it has been like what 20s but it feels like it's in the 10s like single digits 
so it feels like a normal winter day thank god for that because i did not want to even leave my house to even walk chase when it was that cold Brazil nut body oil from Trader Joe's. I have the lotion and I really love the smell. It kind of reminds me of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream. So I'm excited to use this body oil and like layer it with my perfumes to see if it makes the scent even better. <laughs> I went into Home Goods and got Chase these waist bags. There are 20 rolls in here. It brings 500 bags. Also got some pet wipes for him. These are mineral bath pet wipes. We run through these a lot because we always wipe his paws and his pee pee and his behind whenever he goes outside to relieve himself. So we use like two to three of these a day and I always like to keep them on hand so I don't run out. So stocked up on some of those. And I also got him these Wilderness Trail Treats by the Blue Buffalo Company. I really love this brand. This is the brand he used to eat when he still ate puppy food. I'm sure Chase will like them. Chase is not a picky dog at all. He will eat anything and everything you give him and not discriminate. <laughs> I went into Ulta and got some skincare goodies. I am actually struggling with some hyperpigmentation so i got myself my old and faithful vitamin c suspension from the ordinary this is 23 percent vitamin c plus ha spheres so it has hyaluronic acid which is good to like hydrate your skin this really works very well to fade hyperpigmentation i used to use this so much i kind of took a little break from it i want to say like a what three to six month break and now i'm back to using it well, I just bought it to start using it because this really works in fading dark marks. So, got some of this and stocked up on more niacinamide. I use this like every single day. It's really good also for hyperpigmentation. It regulates the oils in your skin and I have very oily skin. So, this really helps regulate my oils and it's also good for your pores to minimize them. I got this e.l.f brow tinted gel i've never used this before but i just want to try it out so yeah that's pretty much everything i got it was pretty much like an errand day took chase to the groomers went to the mall and got him some things he needed got myself those things at ulta mostly because i had my birthday discount they do like 20 percent off on your birthday month so i was like why not get the stuff now that i have this discount now like the day is gone it's six o'clock we're making food and Probably gonna call it a night soon. Oh no, I wanna do my headboard. I finally got a headboard. I've really been wanting a headboard for so long. I ordered this one on Amazon. The shipping took forever. I'm used to like next day shipping and this took, what, a week? And it wasn't even supposed to get here this early. The estimated delivery date was like a whole month. But somehow I got it within a week of ordering it, which to me is still a long time because, again, I'm used to like Amazon Prime next day delivery. But nevertheless, I'm happy I got it. Gonna set it up and put it in my room. <laughs> Chase Chase thinks this is for him. I'm not him trying to get comfy on my thing. This is not for you, sir. 
This is like almost the same color as my couch. They stuffed the legs and all the hardware in here, which I thought was super innovative. Sorry, babe. I meant to tell you this is adjustable, so I want it to end. Like I want the leg to end where my bed ends, so then the the head. You know what I mean? the color I really love the color it kind of looks just like my couch it's like a light heather gray super comfortable and cushiony as well yeah this is my comfy bed I'm so excited to have an upgraded bedding situation <sighs> market before that and got this steak i don't really like cooking red meat at home but once in a while it's not gonna kill you usually i like keeping my meats lean at home like turkey or chicken but we're gonna have this for dinner today so we're gonna season it now and leave it in the crock pot for like four hours since we have to go to brooklyn in a few and i also got some ricotta cheese as well and we got some bread. I'm about to make us some sausage, egg and cheese right now. These sausages are from Trader Joe's. I've never tried them before, but they're chicken sausages. We'll see how they taste. p.m. I'm gonna be editing while we're on the road. I have my computer here. Today we had a really good workout. We did upper body. I watched this video on YouTube. I think it's MDJ Fitness or MJD Fitness. I don't know, but I'll link it down below. She did an excellent video guiding you on how to start doing pull-ups like without any assistance. She really emphasized doing lat workouts and like workouts that strengthen your back. So I did a lot of that today. Hopefully by the springtime, I'll be able to do at least one pull up that's unassisted. Now I'm gonna be editing today's vlog, which is gonna go up kinda late because it's already 4.30. My new upload days are Wednesdays and Sundays. I've been uploading twice a week, every week this month. So I'm proud of myself, Pat's back. <laughs> it's so much work though, I'm like always editing. We left the steak in the crock pot so it's just slowly cooking for like four hours. So when we come back home, it should be ready. I had a lot of bread today. I had that turkey sausage, egg and cheese. And this morning before the gym, I got a scone from the farmer's market. And y'all know that I did a no bread challenge for like three weeks in January. So I don't know. I feel like that was way too much bread for somebody that just came out of a, you know, 
no bread challenge. I didn't buy a ton of bread. Like, I'm not buying sourdough anymore. That used to be my thing, getting sourdough every week. But I always get bread when I'm out. So might as well just keep it like an out activity and not when I'm home. Because then I just... It becomes such a crush for me to eat bread. Like, it's so easy to make an avocado toast or a bacon, egg, and cheese. So I gotta, like, just not... <laughs> because my new upload days are Sundays and Wednesdays if you haven't noticed but because of iMovie I was having technical difficulties the vlog was ready to go on Sunday but then iMovie started giving me issues so I couldn't upload it on Sunday so that went up on Monday that is why this one is not going up on Wednesday instead it's gonna go up on Thursday because I don't know I just wanted to have like enough days in between vlogs so that I don't tire y'all. <laughs> but yeah, that's why it didn't go up on time. It wasn't because of me though, okay? It's iMovie's fault. <laughs> but it's okay, we move. We're still being super consistent. Um, it is almost six o'clock. I had some meetings, so I just decided to work from the office because it's just so much more, not necessarily quiet, because my apartment is also quiet, aside from the occasional bark from Chase. <laughs> But yeah, I actually like working from coffee shops and like workspaces where there's like a lot of commotion around me. I don't know why that helps me focus a lot. It's so weird. I don't know. Comment down below if you're anything like this. But instead of like causing distraction, it actually helps me focus more when there's like movement around me and other people doing other things. I don't know. Anyways, I received some fragrances from Dossier. Dossier is a fragrance brand that makes designer dupes. You can get anything from Baccarat, Dior, Chanel, Gucci, any designer brand at a fraction of the cost. And they smell just like the original. They sent me Fruity Almond, which is inspired by Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. The top notes are almond and peach. Middle notes are Oris, Orange Blossom, and Tuberose. And the base notes are Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and Cocoa. I've smelled Good Girl before and I really love the scent. Mm. This is very feminine, very floral. It kind of gives me like a flirty vibe. It's definitely a floral scent, but it's not super flowery because the almonds and the citrus notes kind of keep it like fresh and clean. So it's definitely a great like everyday scent. It just smells really clean and fresh, so I really like it. They also sent me Floral Lavender, which is inspired by YSL Libre. The top notes are Mandarin, Neroli, and Black Currant. The middle notes are Jasmine, Lavender, and Orange Blossom. And the base notes are Vanilla, Amber, and Musk. This is giving like sophisticated, grown woman scent. It's definitely not a juvenile scent. I really love the lavender on this and the immediate citrus notes that you get from the top notes. This one also smells very clean and like fresh because of the citrus notes on it. I think this one is also a perfect everyday scent to have you smelling clean and fresh. 
I love how both of these smell, so I'm super excited to add them to my collection, my growing collection. As you can tell from my last couple of vlogs, I've been working on my perfume collection this year and just adding perfumes that I really like and enjoy. I even apply them when I'm just like home relaxing, especially after a nice shower, after I've moisturized my body and added my oils. Adding a scent on top of that just... Is so amazing highly recommend smelling good for yourself is top-notch and is definitely part of self-care too because if you're out here spraying perfume for others why not do it for yourself <laughs> I have already made a dent on the ambery saffron scent from dossier which is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 I spray that thing when I get out of the shower I just spray that all over my body it just smells fantastic like I really love that perfume got it like a month ago and it's almost halfway done but don't be afraid to use your perfumes at home for yourself after your showers moisturize your body put some oil on then spray yourself with your favorite perfumes that's slowly becoming part of my self-care rituals at night we love good smells over here <laughs> y'all i am going to close out this vlog here thank you so much for watching comment a purse emoji if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video